I'm here, I'm present. It's like work around <laughs> me. Bam. What do you guys think you're doing in my space? In my space. Oh, I love cats. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Tando Mlambo, and I am a creative. I paint, I make music, I play guitar, I sing, produce a little bit. But today you're meeting me as a painter or an artist. And who is Tando the painter? Um, she's a person who's like obsessed with painting in black and white and has these figures that literally will not stop uh, manifesting themselves on paper. Mm -hmm. Really, yeah. Why black and white? It started out as a point of necessity. Um, when I got to Zim in 2020 and lockdown started, I had nothing to do after work. I was working remotely. And so I found like a notebook with paper and all I had was black paint. And I'm assuming this is my stuff from like 2012 when I was in high school. So I started painting with black paint only. And now I have more options, but truly I don't, I struggle to paint with color. I don't know why. Yeah. Is there like a certain um, name that you have for the style of painting that you do? I don't, but you know what? Someone recently called them bold graphic works with like African inspired blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, cool can work with that <laughs> bold yeah so like can you walk us through your process like as you're getting into it yeah absolutely so i've prepped a piece right now um which really just means sketching in pencil what i'm gonna paint uh but the process is usually like i've got if you see there those are all of my notebooks in the last two years okay. and it's a bit of writing but a lot of just drawing when i feel inspired so usually, like this is what I'll just be doing at work, sorry boss, um, or you know in meetings or whatever, in life in general. Mm -hmm. And then if there's something that I really like and I'm like I want to transfer that onto paper, that's what I do. There's notes like I don't love this, so apparently the one I want to paint today I don't love, I didn't love 
But um, yeah, so that's kind of the process. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So I'm gonna, I usually paint on this guy. Some music going, you know. What music do you like to listen to? I listen to anything that I'm in the mood to listen to. So it really varies. Mm -hmm. And because the process is like a good six to eight hours, I will probably have gone through a lot of different moods. Can you give um, us like your top three go-to jams <laughs> for artists? For, for paint, okay, there's this some um, Swedish artist called Robin. Mm -hmm. She really gets the energies pumping. Um, she's got this project called Honey, mm -hmm. so that's really good. But usually I'll start with something a bit more chill, like Bossa Nova or like Calm Jazz. Mm -hmm just for calm inspo, light some incense, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of the vibe. And like, do you ever have times when you start, do you like do a piece to completion or you start, take a break? Um, I usually finish the piece because it's just super satisfying, I think, to start the process and then finish. But I, I mean, that also means that I'm sleeping at like 3 a.m., which isn't very healthy. Yeah. <laughs> So I'd say recently I've had uh, the fortune and misfortune to have some time at home. Mm -hmm. So I've got a few pieces that I've done like starting in the daytime and that I've completed. Yeah. I'm out of tape. Cool. It's all right. All righty. So we'll do this guy. So do you always like start off with the sketch? Yeah, 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 most of the time. I think there uh, none of those pieces are here. So I have uh, 12 pieces up at the University of Cambridge right now. Um, and those are all works that I did in 2020. Mm -hmm. So that's really fun. But I think of that set, there's only two that I just did completely, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah. Just directly onto just the, dire yeah. Onto the art piece. Yeah. Are there any like forms of like media that you want to like try out because you just seem to use like normal paper is that recycled paper is it a sp specific type of paper um it ranges from watercolor paper this guy is watercolor paper mm -hmm. 300 gsm then i've got other pieces on bond paper because that's what i can get here yeah. but i recently got some sheets my dad traveled to SA and brought me some some more watercolor paper so that's it's nicer because it's thicker um, but in terms of media and stuff, I made this sculpture with like found pieces of wood mm -hmm. and then painted it. So I'd like to do more stuff like that. Our neighbors are carpenters, so I asked them to give me their scraps and I'll just start uh, <laughs> start sculpting. Uh -huh. no, <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. Do you know what, guys? I need to um, go and get my other paint because this is finished. I will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 